Hello, and welcome back to the series, everybody. So, I've prepared a little something for the beginning of today. If you couldn't already tell, that's right, we're going to the Stronghold. I've been putting this off for a little while, just kind of because I could just take it slowly. I didn't really need to go to the end for any reason, but I think it's time that we finally went. So let's get to an open area and find out which direction the eye actually flies in. That direction. Okay. All right, we've traveled a little while here, so let's go ahead and throw another ender pearl. See if we've gone past it. I don't think so. Yep, still this direction. Oh, yes, it's raining. You know what that means. This is going to make this trip so much easier. Except for the fact that it's snowing a lot around here. That is not making this easier. Okay, okay, this biome won't be snowing. That's awesome. All right, let's get on top of this tree right here and throw ourselves another pearl. Let's see. Oh, we've gone past it. Oh, that is great. Oh, yep, it's right in the middle of this lake. Okay, 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 let's just get digging. Let's just get digging right around here. Let's go on the land. Oh, yep, guys. Guys, we found it. This is it. I spy. All right, we're in. We're in. Let's get out the ender chest. Get a bed. Put that spawn right there. Put us a little bit of granite right where we f fell through so we don't forget. All right. Let's get out a couple torches. Let's get exploring. Okay, going down is good. Down is good. Okay, we found the library already. That's pretty nice. Okay. Wow, this is a lot of books. Power 4, Unbreaking 3. That's pretty good. Flame, Respiration 3. I'll I actually need Respiration on my helmet, so that's actually pretty good. And there should also be another chest just up here. Yep, right there. Silk Touch, Protection 3, Efficiency 4. Sure, I'll take them. I'll take all the bookshelves up here at the top and leave the ones at the bottom for other people if they need books. Wow, those are the tr most trash chests I have literally ever seen in a stronghold, I think. Let's go over here. Diamonds! <laughs> we found diamonds, that's so funny. They don't scare me. Oh! It's it! It's it! We found it! We found the portal! So there we have it, our quick access into the end. Once the end portal has been lit, we'll just be able to jump down right into here and land straight in the portal. And also, if I jump straight down here and I can show you, if I jump out with my trident, I can make it all the way out just. So I don't even take any fall damage once I'm up the top. And we have made it home. So let's drop off all these books at our villages just here. So last episode, I showed you something along the lines of this. Obviously, it's empty now, but this was my vault. But you see, somehow, somehow, the luck, someone randomly mined a couple blocks, I think it was like around here or something, and they somehow bumped into this and found it. So it was no longer secret. You're probably wondering, where was the vault? Well, I'll show you. It was just through here, behind this house, right here, on the side of this cliff, right here, around here. This was where it was. But now I have a new vault. So, dropping down just here, and this is my new vault. I've got obsidian in here, some blaze rods in here, and some ender pearls in there. And so I think I'm going to put this chest, at the moment it's filled with some uh, enchanted books, which I'm going to put on this armor here. And I think I'm going to put some of these books in here, as they are very good. I think it's time that we finally got around to doing some proper zombifying of our villages. Oh look, here's a zombie right here. And it's got armor, so it should not despawn. Mr. Zombie. Yes, got it. Okay, that was slightly easy. So pop on our iron armor here so we don't deal thorns damage to this zombie right here. We're gonna need to get it onto this rail. And push, 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 push. 
No! No! No, we just got our second death. I just need to get back there before my items despawn. And I think it equipped my chest plate, which cannot do. I'm gonna have to kill this zombie. Okay, and we're back here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need my items just there, and it is right there. Will it literally one shot me? Oh my goodness. Wow. What? No, not our third death. Oh goodness, this is all going downhill. Oh no. You know what? I'll lead it away. Then I will go around it. Ah, idiot. Get all my things. Okay, yes. Alright, alright, alright. I should be able to kill it now. I've got my things. Oh, I got my trident. My e chest. You know, I'm gonna put on my spare better set of, of armor. I'm doing it. Yes! Oh, we got our things. <gasps> zombie! Yes, and it picks up items. How many zombies in this game pick up items? Like, there's so many. So, I have an idea this time. This time, if I... Hold on, let me, I need to go back to my base to actually show you this. But I have an idea. I'm going to get... A, a furnace minecart, which is actually really good if you're pushing around pretty much anything, just like so. Then I can get the furnace minecart and put a bit of coal in it, and look, it pushes it up like this. Is he gonna pop out? Yes, perfect. So now if I got one of these guys, like so, get him in a minecart like this. Now, if I push this guy over here, and I hook that up there, he should get chomped on by the zombie. But now, if I splash him with a weakness, get a golden apple, and there we go. Now he is transforming. So a little bit of science here, if I place this right there, yep, it goes zoom by. Okay, so that's how we're going to get the villager in and out without doing thorns to either it all this zombie here, because we need this guy to stay alive. I don't want to go collecting more and more and more zombies every single time I want to zombify a villager. Alright, and a bunch of zombifying later, and we have got ourselves a bunch of very, very good deals. I've got one on that. For some reason, I zombified this guy twice, but it seems he doesn't go lower than 15 emeralds for a protection book. And over here, I've zombified and upgraded a bunch of these guys' trades, so that I just get free money from pumpkins. I have realized this XP farm can barely even be called an XP farm. It is the slowest thing in the world. So what I have done is I have made a new XP grinder. I found a uh, skeleton spawner a while back and I have used it so just up here, over this hill, right here, is a new XP grinder. And it's actually good this time. So it's, uh, it's, it's slightly decorated, it's very functional, and it's better than just leaving the walls with like ores and little bits of whatever everywhere. So yeah, that's a cool another little function. And I've been using this thing a bunch. It's way more efficient than the zombie grinder, and I've grinded a full second spare set of netherite armor. So we now have two of this stuff. All things skeleton grinder set aside. It's time that we head into the end to fight the dragon. But that's gonna have to wait until next episode because we are completely out of video time for today. So with that, consider leaving a like or even subscribing if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. My own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles Profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross